Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we have an old friend. In today's video we welcome an old friend back to the channel and that is of course Fairmore Take. As you may know I have produced probably primarily most of the videos on this channel to Fairmore Take products. Uh, that's not because I'm shilling, that's just because they had such a fantastic program that was working well with me and the products, some of them were a bit questionable but all of them were pretty much spot on for exactly what they do and they are very well known for pushing the boat out there obviously sometimes controversially, sometimes not so controversially but nonetheless they are always producing products they have such a vast line of products available now considering that the last two years that I've not been active on the channel just going back to their database, their website to see exactly what products they do they do so much more stuff now obviously they've always done cases and peripherals and power supplies they've obviously done the keyboards, uh, cases, cooling, fans that's primarily what they're known for but they also do things like monitors, gaming desks they even do chairs, they do all sorts now so hopefully a bit further down the line We'll be able to look at some of them but today we have the bm3 smart 850 watt 80 plus bronze psu now you may just be thinking well it's just a psu what's so special about it well this is in fact the first well the market's first 850 watt 80 plus bronze atx3 compliant psu meaning that it is fully compliant with Intel's ATX 3.0 system. Now they do come in different sizes. The one we have here is the uh, biggest size, which is 850 watts. They do a 550, a 650, a 750, and an 850. Now when it comes to choosing one for your system, you need to take into consideration the hardware that you're using. If you're going to be using slightly more modern hardware, such as the higher end units, such as uh, 40 series cards, you probably want to be swinging towards the 750 and potentially the 850. I'll dive into a little bit more detail as I go along with the unboxing of this PSU. So for this video, there's not a great deal that I can do because I don't actually have power supply testing hardware what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unboxing and more of an overview of the product. I'll explain what it does, all the features that it has, and obviously what you get in the box. And then hopefully down the line, I'll be able to invest in a PSU a power supply tester so that we can really put them to the test. But for now, we're just going to take a look at exactly what you get, and we'll start by getting it open now. Before we open the box, the presentation of the box itself is pretty much fair we'll take as usual. The branding is very evident to see with thermal take on every side of the box which is pretty standard to the brand. What you'll also find is that it is silver in colour and that is because it is a premium range. On the front you see a nice image of the power supply on the front and some key features. On the sides again a nice image and some key features. On, on the back you see more images and some details including the output specifications of this power supply which I'll put on the screen right now so that you can take a closer look. It also has a graph on here which shows you the efficiency rating for this power supply. So let's get into here and see what you get. Another key thing that I do need to tell you about before I open all this and before I get into everything, yes it is the first Intel ATX3 compliant power supply and it is also a PCIe Gen 5 with high power connectors included but it's actually a very decent, very competitive price. At the moment you can get this 850 watt model for about £105-£110 from Scan, from Novatech, from overclockers from so on pretty much most places that you get your um, components from I will leave a link in the description down below as to where you can get one currently on sale at scan computers so inside the box you get the usual you get a warranty card and of course a user manual this does explain all the different models it also has everything you need to know including the types of connectors that you get with each model from each of a range so obviously the lower end models such as the 550, 650 are going to feature 
less cables in the box and obviously that high power connector is only going to operate at a lower wattage. This model in particular, the 850, will run 12 volt high power through the 16 pin connection at up to 450 watts, meaning that you should effectively be able to get away with powering a 4080 Ti. A 4080 definitely will power through this, and obviously the 4070, 4060 and so on. There are different formats needed dependent on the card as well. Some of them will use that 16 pin high power connector. Some of them will use two 6x2 um, PCIe connectors. Some of them will even use three of them. This power supply will have everything you need to basically get everything powered and you're ready to go. So enough talking. Let's start off with this and you get a European plug. Obviously this is because this product is a review sample, it was sent over to me uh, from Taiwan actually, um, so it's got this. But where you buy it from will be the plug that you get. So obviously buying it from the UK, you'll get a UK plug, buy it from the US, you'll get a plug like this. Next, you get a bag with some cable ties for tidying everything up. And you also get some PSU mounting screws for mounting your PSU into your case. Next, we get a nice little carry bag. The BM3 smart range of power supplies is a semi-modular range. Now what that means is that you do have a modular setup which is effectively you get all the cables in here, you can plug in exactly what you need into the power supply. Not only does it allow for a nicer, cleaner look and aesthetic, it also means that you can plug in exactly what you need and what you don't need you don't have to have in there, thus making cable management and access for your computer much easier. You do have two cables coming out of a power supply that are permanently fixed into place and they are covered in a braided cable which we will look at very shortly. So in this bag here you get a nice thermal tape branded bag, open this up and you get an assortment of cables. Now that we have everything laid out we can take a closer look at exactly what you get in the box in terms of the modular cables that you can use on the power supply. Out of the box you get four available connectors, that's four individual 6x2 PCIe connectors for the more higher powered PCIe Gen 5 cars such as the 40 series but do require that um, 16 pin high power connectivity, you do indeed have that. The one that's included on the 850 is rated at 450 watts as you can see on this. This will obviously allow you to connect to that 4080 but to be able to draw 850 watts altogether on a 12 volt rail for a unit like this is quite impressive. Next we have the SATA connectors. Now there are six of these available straight out of the box. And then next we get six Molex. Now they are marketed as peripheral connectors. They're Molex, I don't know who we're trying to kid. Um, they are Molex connectors. They are the worst connectors going, but some components and some companies do still use them and move to the power supply itself. That's pretty much everything you get from the box. As you can see, the power supply is nice and compact, even with it being an 850 watt unit. 850 watt units back in the day were probably around twice the size of this. So the fact that you've got everything included in a nice compact unit, it is heavily branded. What's interesting about this is that the branding on the side, the thermal take branding, either side you put it at is upright. The unit does feature a 120mm fluid dynamic bearing fan, which actually can spin at 0 RPM when you click the smart 0 fan mode via this switch here up to a load of 20%. So if you're just idling on your system and you're not really doing anything, the fan won't actually power up. It does feature some high quality components inside, one of them being a Japanese electrolytic capacitor, which is rated at, I believe, 105 degrees Celsius, so it should run fine, even under higher loads. It does have lots of ventilation, so it should run nice and cool. On the rear of this, I'll get to the cable shortly, on the rear of this, you get the um, connectors for your modular power cables. Obviously, along the front, you have the that 12 volt high power connector here, the port here, so that you can connect that in. You do then have two peripheral and SATA connectors with another two underneath, so that you can power all six of the SATA connectors and all six of the Molex connectors 
at the same time. Underneath that you get two 8-pin PCIe connectors or ports so that you can plug both those cables in and have four 6 by 2 pin PCIe connectors. As I mentioned before you do get two cables that are permanently affixed to the power supply and they are the CPU connectors. Next of course you get the 24 pin ATX3 compliant power connector in a nice braided cable. And that is pretty much the overview and unboxing of the Thermaltake Smart BM3 850 watts power supply. Obviously it's a very capable power supply. That uh, 12 volt high power connector that is able to power up to 450 watts is a very welcome addition, especially on a power supply, especially for a power supply that's around the 100 pound price point. Obviously you've got plenty of connectors available to connect all your peripherals or your hard drives. Obviously if you come to power the newer generation cards such as the 40 series you will covered with that with a 450 watt capable 12 volt high power cable included in the box and you'll know that this power supply will run that very well and efficiently as well. The Smart BM3 range across the range is an 80 plus bronze certified range. What that means is even at 100% it will run at 82% efficiency which is fantastic. So on a high power setup it's definitely something you're going to need. Obviously you've got the 5 year warranty included with all thermal take power supplies and that's not any different with this one. It's a nice compact slightly heavy unit but that's not a problem because it's in your setup you've got a fully comprehensive allowance of cables so that you can connect as pretty much everything you need you get everything else you pretty much need there's not a lot to unbox with a power supply it's pretty much the power supply the power lead and the connectors obviously you get a couple of little extra bits and obviously you've got the bag to store the any unused of the cables in there um but yeah so I'm pretty impressed with the unit as a whole. The fact that you get everything you do for that price point pretty much makes it a bit of a no-brainer. So if you're looking for a new power supply and you've got a new generation 40 series card and you're wanting to get a power supply where that doesn't really break the bank, then you wouldn't go wrong looking for one of the smart BM3 ranges. Obviously take a note of which card you've got, which will depend on which power supply you need to look at. And that's pretty much it. So, it's a big thumbs up from me here. I've been Gadget Joe. This has been the Thermaltake Smart BM3 850 watt power supply. And until next time, goodbye. Around the hundred pound price, 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 point, point. Hereditary three. I'm losing it. And Milex. <laughs> <laughs>